Nick Cave, the Chicago-based artist, sculptor, designer, professor, and foremost, a messenger, stands out to great lengths, not only for his extraordinary talent for including interdisciplinary hybrids in his art, but also always in the DNA of the work is Africa, its masquerade, ritual, and the living art of African-American vernacular culture. Many of his works on the surface seem ordinary, but they are just the tip of the iceberg. They are constructed from the cast-offs or insignificant or discarded stuff picked up from flea markets, thrift stores, repurposed noisemakers, gloves, and toys. But underneath, they communicate the unresolved feelings of power and subjugation within contemporary African-American identity. Cave is famously known for his electrifying sound suits, but they were not on display on the galleries we visited during this time period. Therefore, we'll focus on the Doberman on a gold sofa and the Goliog as king of the hill, among many of his other remarkable artworks. This Doberman is one of the series comprises sculptures that is on view at 524 West 24th Street under the cave's body of work, Rescue. This work incorporates found ceramic dogs sitting on furniture with an elaborate dreamlike dance. Dogs have historically been associated with loyalty, class, breed, commitment and protection. The canine has quite literally been rescued from destruction, very much like an adopted pet. The dog becomes the benevolent guardian of his self-contained world, focusing the spotlight on the forgotten and discarded. The Doberman artfully matches with attached crystals, beads, and metal flowers. This Goliog is one of the most attractive and deeply meaningful art pieces displayed at the Jack Shaneman Gallery at 513 West 20th Street under the caption of King of the Hill. Goliog is a famous character in British children's books and also the iconography was widely circulated in Europe and in the United States in the first half of the 20th century in the form of toys, household goods, posters, dolls, French perfume and even a mascot for a jam company. The piece is about servitude and struggle but also about beauty and ornamentation and above ways in which history can be spun and reclaimed. Caves Goliog sits up on a large pile of blankets, folded afghans, shawls in a wide range of colors and warns against conformity. In case of viewing Goliog, king of the hill, as an object of prejudice and stereotype, the story is artistically made straight while a viewer is, instead of looking down upon it, is indeed looking up. This painting is known as Let Me Off Uptown by Emma Amos, an African-American painter, painted with oil on linen canvas in the year of 2000. A black man and a white woman, bonded with love and jazz music, are shown with vivid colors. Color is significant theme in Amos' work and showing both black and white color of couple reflect her intention to show the diverse devotees of jazz music in uptown New York, which is obviously Harlem. Nick Cave and Emma Amos, both in their artworks, indeed reflect the undeniable influence of rich culture, performance, and essence of the tribal art of Africa.